Welcome to This Week in Crowder College, an in-depth look into how Crowder College students, faculty, and staff are working together so students soar to new heights, communities are impacted, and lives are changed. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the law offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show, specializing in workers' compensation, personal injury, social security disability, and more. Learn more online at neoshowattorney.com. Now here's this week's edition of This Week in Crowder College. Welcome to a brand new week of This Week in Crowder College right here on 91.7 FM. Adam Winkler here with you, joined by Jason Bond. He is the head soccer coach out there at Crowder College. And Coach Bond, thanks for being with us. No problem. Thank you for having me on the show. Well, it's an exciting time of year for you. Uh, Both teams have been back on campus for a number of weeks with uh, uh, your preseason practices, and you guys are set to to get things going here. But just looking over the past couple weeks, uh, what has impressed you the most out of both of these squads so far? Uh, I mean, I feel like they're getting along really well. That's always a positive sign. Um, And we've had a couple scrimmages. I think both teams have shown some positive things with the the women's team. Uh, They've been doing really good on, like, their team shape. So, Defensively, they're very organized early on, which is always a positive sign. You know, we're still working on chemistry with them, you know, in the offensive buildup, but a lot of good signs there. Where the boys were kind of the opposite, like offensively, we're, we're already roaring and doing things really well in our first couple scrimmages. So um, we're excited to kind of play some stiffer competition to see, you know, how they match up. Well, you get through those scrimmages. Those are always nice tests for you guys, but it's always fun when the uh, when the games actually count, and that's uh, going to start for you guys here over the next week. And tell us about your early season schedule. Um, so we're actually going to be on the road, I think, our first five games, if I'm remembering that correctly. Um, but this weekend, we're, we're going up to Kansas City, Kansas, um, in the Kansas City area, and then also Coffeeville. And uh, both those programs have been very good over the years. So it should be a, a really tough test, but you know I'm excited to see how the teams stack up, and um, you know hopefully we can have a pretty good opening weekend. Well, let's start off with the girls' team here. Just uh, tell us about some of your leaders on the team and uh, uh, what local flavor you might have on there that some names some people might recognize possibly. Yeah, so um, our women's team is very regional. Pretty much everybody is you know within three hours or so. So kind of our returning sophomores, I think our big ones are. Austin Mickey from Webb City. She's a, she's a center back for us. And then we also have Megan Gibbs out of Grove, Oklahoma, um, who was our leading scorer last year. Both of them are coming back um, and, and should be, you know, big players for us, probably 90-minute players. So that's kind of our returning players. But as far as freshmen, we, we also added quite a few from the area. Um, Daniela Marquez and um, Hannah Frank were both, uh, I believe, both leading scorers for their schools, both for, you know, all district for offense. You know, um, you know, within the area and they're out of, uh, Carl Junction and Carthage High School. Um, so we're very excited to have them. And then, uh, we also got Sonia Lopez out of Carthage as well, who's a very good defender. Um, but yeah, I mean, I- I'd say a handful. There's other people I'm not naming, but, um, yeah, we're very excited to have all of them here. Well, what about on the, uh, on the men's side? What does the team look like there? And just, uh, some of the guys you're leaning upon once again on that side. Yeah. So men's team is going to be a little bit more international, but we got some guys we're really excited for. Um, you know, but definitely our, our center back, Callum, he's from Scotland. Pretty excited for him. He's had a really good preseason. And then we also got two Fords up front, uh, Stuart and Stuart Toilet and, um, Jaheem Johnson. Um, Stu's from Scotland and, uh, Jaheem's from Jamaica. Both should be pretty good goal scorers for us up front. And uh, they've had a great preseason as well. So they're kind of our new guys coming in. We're pretty excited for. It. Um, and then as far as our returners, yeah, we have uh, Matt Greenland was a big player for us last year. And then probably our guy, I, I should have mentioned him earlier, Jason. But Jason, he's out of Neosho High School, and he was a starter for us last year. Probably our biggest, uh, most important returner coming back. 90-minute guy, works crazy hard, you know, on the defensive side of things. Um, also helps us facilitate possession. So, you know, we're very excited to have him back. But, yeah, we got, you know, we're very excited on the men's side. They've just knocked it out of the park with preseason games. So, you know, for them, they're they're really edging to play. I'd say like some tougher competition to see how they stack up, which is which is exciting when you're waiting to play better teams. If that makes sense. And we're talking with Jason Bond on this week in Crowder College. He is the head soccer coach out there at Crowder. And you mentioned uh, we'll start on the guys' side, and you can also touch it on the, on the girls' side as well. But uh, the international flavor on the guys' side, and and with uh, all the newcomers on the on the women's side as well. New players coming in, new teammates, uh, new to campus. Um, how are the how are the returners helping those players 
um, you know, kind of figure out the college life, let them know what Crowder is all about and just helping them feel welcome. Yeah. I mean, I think, I, I think it kind of starts even before they get off campus because, uh, you know, they all have their, their, their team chats and their Snapchat groups and all that stuff. So I think they're already asking each other a lot of questions and, and getting to know each other. Uh, but then, yeah, once they get on campus, uh, we're kind of the first ones here. So I think that kind of helps facilitate that team bonding is that they're eating all their meals together. Um, they're kind of the only students on campus. I think cross country came in a little bit after us as well. Um, but outside of that, yeah, a lot of time for them to get to know each other. Um, we're practicing every day. Um, we did, we did a cookout last week. So just kind of a couple little fun things as well to, to get them, you know, get a little chemistry going, but especially with the girl side since they're all very local. A lot of them kind of already probably know each other a little bit or know who that person is. So that kind of helps. And then with, with the guy side, you know, I think we have a more mix of internationals or guys that traveled a little bit further, got some guys from Texas and stuff. They're usually pretty eager to just kind of meet new guys and quite a few of them are from far away. So they're not really going to just wait around to make friends. But yeah, I've already seen a lot of them hanging out together just outside of practice. And so it seems like they're all getting along really well. Fall is such a special time of year. Everyone's getting back into school, but. You guys also get to play in some great weather, especially when you get into that mid-September area and get into early October. It really has to be just uh, nice to be outside and and, and getting to to watch these uh, these players compete and in an environment that's a uh, that's a high level, but also enjoying the outside that you're in. Oh, absolutely, and yeah, especially that late half of the season. I uh, I love when it gets to that point where we're wearing our, our warm ups every day for for practice and game time and. You know, we, at night we get those kind of more low 60s and then a little bit chilly in November, but I can't complain at all about, yeah, I get to be outside four or five hours a day working with all these athletes. It's, it's, uh, it's great. Well, coach, when you look at these athletes, both on the men's and women's side, I mean, they have to have all three, uh, phases of the game. They have to have speed. They have to have strength. They have to have endurance. They got to have those quick bursts, but they also have the, the strength to be able to body up an opponent if need be. And also the endurance to last all 90 minutes. And, and tell us about the rigorous training they go through just to, to build those three aspects of, uh, um, being physically ready to play, um, soccer, uh, week in and week out. Yeah, for me, I'd say I'm probably a little bit more untraditional in that, in that, you know, I'm not really the old school. We line them up, run them a bunch. Um, we're trying to get our fitness through, uh, through the games and, you know, through the activities we're playing. So, uh, their fitness is kind of built into the sessions. And I think the players really enjoy that. Cause, and then, you know, on the, on the positive side of that as well, we're just getting more touches on the soccer ball, um, versus just spending time running to run. That's something I kind of want them to do outside of the practice time but yeah we're gaining our fitness um through the actual sessions themselves without having to just set it set aside time to run and i think that makes a, a very enjoyable experience for both programs well coach uh, a brand new season is upon us thank you for your time on this week in crowder college and best wishes to you guys throughout the fall awesome thank you so much we appreciate it Thank you for listening to This Week in Crowder College. This Week in Crowder College is sponsored by the law offices of Wood and Peterson in Neo Show. You can listen to this broadcast again by going online to kneo.org or to crowder.edu. Tune in once again next week for another edition of This Week in Crowder College on KNEO 91.7 FM. Do you have five minutes for God? I'm Pastor Ed Wilson, and I believe there's no better way to begin each morning than spending a little time with Him. That's why every weekday morning I bring you a short devotional broadcast designed just for that. Look up God's Five Minutes wherever you get your podcast to kickstart your spiritual walk for each day, and we'll always do it in five minutes or less. Have you talked to God today?